Um, um, and this is the, by the way, you know, Zach, you're letting this, uh, this show out of control where we're supposed to be disciplined and focused. This is the, this is the intro call to what will happen over the next 12 months, a series of, uh, of 15 minute uh, podcast videos, real short theme based um, that we think the listener, the owner operator on the road might listen to and follow. And also industry players that are thinking about getting into the industry or currently in the, the industry that want a, a little more insight to really what's going on. Because I think between Louie and I and you, Zach, I think we have a fairly decent unbiased view of the market um, from the ground up Top down, bottom up. Welcome to Stream, a truck tractor trailer.com production. Today's episode, we're doing something a little different, something very special here today. Today's episode is presented by OIDA. That's O-O-I-D-A, the Owner Operator Independent Drivers Association. Uh, they serve more than 162,000 independent owner operators. Um, and certainly you could learn more about OIDA at uh, OOIDA.com. If you're an owner operator and you're not a member, what the heck are you waiting for? Go to OIDA.com and, and join. And of course, you know, presented by trucktractortrailer.com. Uh, honored to be joined today by... Uh, Longtime owner operator himself, now the executive director of OIDA and proud Army veteran Louis Pugh, uh, as well as trucktractortrailer.com CEO John Gilly. John uh, spent most of his career in transportation and, of course, is a proud former Marine. John, Louis, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank Thanks you, for having us. Absolutely. But, but you know, John, let, let, let's talk about this because, you know, you and I, you know, we've I, I've been working with trucktractortrailer.com for, for over a year now. You know, you and I have been talking for well over a year. Yeah. And, and when you first approached me about uh, trucktractortrailer.com, the first thing you really mentioned was OIDA and was those owner operators and providing a resource for those OIDA members, for, for our, you know, our independent drivers out there on the American roads. Yeah, absolutely. But keep in mind, you and I were introduced about, uh, you know, two thirds into my development of, of, of trucktractortrailer.com. So you came in at, right at the right time when I had my thinking straight. And, and really, um, after Louie and I met probably three years ago, uh, spent a lot of time there at his, uh, the headquarters uh, um, in Kansas City, um, you know, uh, in, in Louis's office, showing me his his uh, his four or five rigs he had on the floor uh, on the wall, and very proudly telling me that he was he shopped for every one of those online. So he was an early adopter. I'll never forget that conversation. And um, but when you came, but I'll I'll be completely uh, on you know transparent here is that when we first built TTT, it was really and it is still a two sided marketplace. Uh, of sellers and buyers, but I really didn't have, you know, uh, we had a good product. We have a beautiful platform technology wise, but we didn't have product market fit. Now, what I've learned, I'm not a lifelong tech entrepreneur. I guess I'm a tech entrepreneur now, but I didn't start doing that until I was 55 years old, right? But what I've learned is that product is nothing. Product market fit is everything. And what I didn't do uh, initially that I started to do after meeting Louis. I started really understanding the buyer and the buyer journey. And I, uh, although Louis did not give me um, the idea for TTT, he definitely inspired me to uh, dig down deep and, and really understand the buyer better. In this case, it's the owner operator in small fleet. That's amazing. That's beautiful. And then, so, so I guess, you know, Louis, from your perspective, what, what does the owner operator, what does that OIDA member need? that they weren't seen in the marketplace? Well, I think the thing I found intriguing, I mean, when John first came, I found his whole idea very interesting and intriguing. And I mean, I think one of the first things I told him was I said, I really like this idea. I see where it's gonna, I see it in the future. I think it's gonna take us a little while to get people pushed into it. Yeah. Because truckers are not always good about embracing technology. I mean, I'm not, I mean, I first admit, and he is correct. 
I use the internet to search a lot of things and find a lot of things and find vehicles and try to find deals. But I don't necessarily buy off of my, I, then I go look and put my hands on it. But, but what I thought was, in, the one thing I thought was very interesting that he brought to the platform was a way to sell your truck, which what that intrigued me was because, you know, I own trucks and I always traded every time a year over the years until I came here. <laughs> and I worked here. I kept my truck for a, about a year and a half after I came here because I wasn't sure I could handle driving a computer and a desk. And I'm still not sure if I can, but <laughs> with that being said, that was the biggest thing was what do I do? How do I sell my truck without paying for a bunch of expensive advertisement or different things like that? Now, what I finally did was I got with a friend and a trailer dealer back home and I sold it on consignment, but it still took a long time because it's sitting in one little spot in Ohio on this guy's lot who sells trailers, not trucks on consignment. And yeah, we finally sold it took a little while but you know that was the intriguing thing to me if it, it, it was a marketplace for where an owner operator with one truck one trailer or whatever could take a piece of equipment put it out there and sell it and and it would be out there nationwide yep. you know we have craigslist we, mark, we have all these kind of things like this where you can do it but it's not really nationwide it's not exposure that's where you know it's we've all seen the papers in the truck stops with all the little trucks there and I won't call anybody out or anything. And, and the ones that they send you, some, I, get, I still get some in the mail. <laughs> but again, this is expensive. This is, you know, for a guy with one truck, it's expensive deal to put your truck in there. And all that stuff. This was a, a simple, affordable way for an owner operator. To me, that's, that was what I was intrigued by at yeah. first. But, but going on with that, buying a truck, being able to shop, it's another form. It's another tool you can use. I, yeah. I do. I, I do think you raise a really interesting point, Louis. Um, and and I think there's there's actually a little bit of a misconception there, because I don't think it's so much that the the drivers are opposed to the technology. It's but it's it's there's a skept there's a healthy skepticism, and they need to see that technology is going to help them rather than hurt them. I mean that's why they botched the ELD mandate for exactly that reason. Because they, they didn't say, oh, this is going to help you. It was, well, this is going to hurt us. You're not providing truck parking. You're not, you know, our detention times are getting worse. This is not a benefit to us as opposed to a technology that is, in fact, a benefit to us, the driver on the road. You're correct. 110% correct by, by all means. You know, and drivers have always, you know, you always have that feeling because it seems like, there's lots of people out there. There's lots of companies out there. Lots and lots and lots of people out there trying to scam truckers. Right. It's on every corner. It seems like every corner, somebody's out there with the yeah. latest, greatest scam. I mean, I remember when fuel went crazy back in the mid-2000s. They were selling so much stuff that you could put on your truck. If you'd have bought it all, I think your truck should have been making fuel, not saving fuel. <laughs> you, know, you know, so there's always somebody out there with a better mousetrap or whatever. And at the end of the day, it's just another way to scam drivers. Yeah. And that's, you know, I will say this about John and TTT from working them. They've been a good partner of ours since we've become friends. They help us with truck to success and different things. These guys are honest. They're pure as the driven snow. They're just trying to make a good product to where both buyers and sellers can come together and everyone can get a fair deal. Yeah. Truckers, I mean, I get it. I, I'm i still not sold on just buying a truck without going and putting my hands on it. Yeah. And, and especially if it's a used truck, especially because I want to see it. I want to touch it. I want to drive it. And most guys do. That's a big investment for, for, for a person. I mean, a lot of guys, I mean, myself included, I paid more for trucks than I paid for most of the houses I lived in. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's a big investment. It's a career. So that's, that's the thing guys still, but, you can still find a truck on TTT, and maybe it is a ways away, but you can find that truck, and you can still go look at that truck That's and right. make your deal name, but still go look at that truck. Yeah, so so on that, Louis, and, and th this was not meant to be a commercial for TTT or for <laughs> a, 
OOIDA. Um, um, and this is, the, by the way, you know, Zach, you're letting this, uh, this show out of control where we're supposed to be disciplined and focused. This is, the, this is the intro call to what will happen over the next 12 months, a series of, uh, of 15 minute uh, podcast videos, real short theme based um, that we think the listener, the owner operator on the road might listen to and follow, and also industry players that are thinking about getting into the industry or currently in the, the industry that want a, a little more insight to really what's going on. Because I think between Louie and I and you, Zach, I think we have a fairly decent unbiased view of the market um, from the ground up, top down, bottom up. I will say this about TTT and, and credit to Louie again, is, is that we were, I really thought we were going to build this completely just high tech, but what we've developed today is a high tech, high touch model. Why? And what inspired that was people don't realize this, Louis, that uh, OIDA has a, a switchboard. But during normal operation, yeah. uh, open hours, which is from 7.30 to 5.30 central time. Yes, when you call our office, you get a human being. You don't yeah. get a push one for this, a two for this, a three That's for right. this. You get a human being. Now, we're, we're human, and yeah. sometimes guys call in and they get transferred to the wrong department, sometimes because things aren't explained right away. But, but at the end of the day, we'll get you the right person, and you will talk to a human all the way through the process. So I, If you I, call so me, though, you got to be prepared because I'm not real good at transferring calls because sometimes I accidentally lose you. But, but I always warn people before. <laughs> All right, but, but to that point, it was really important for us to have a what we would call a contact center with live people that we're, we're on the phone with uh, owner operators. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say 24 seven, but online, they, they communicate a lot on Facebook. It's just fascinating. And they're very social. The owner operator is on, on the road. They have questions at three o'clock in the morning. They need answers for, or they'll leave a message for us and we get back to them. So I guess the point is back to you, Louis, saying that I agree with you. Um, you know the the shopping online, buying online, but uh, the OIDA member, the, the owner operator, they want to see that truck, and we are now creating um, a, a buyer's feature kit and also a seller a sell side key uh, feature with subscriptions that allows that handoff. So again, uh, the message here is that there's the buyers, the owner operator gets good representation uh, from TTT. For, for there's no buyer's fee. It doesn't, there's zero cost and and you change that. So thank you and your your, your membership. Thanks you for that too, because I think it's it's um, it's free consultation. What he's trying to say, Trucking Land, is I wore him down. <laughs> yes. yes. Wait, and, and, and he'll do the same for you this, this whole year on stream. So make sure you subscribe uh, yeah. so, that, so that you don't miss a single episode of Louie and John. And we'll see you next time on stream. Thank <laughs> you.